Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Here we are at Kremnock Industries Incorporated Limited, Limited Legal Partnership, and I am trying to remember where the heck Funky's Flights is, because I need to take that to the next level. The somewhat crassly named Chimp Caverns. Anyway, let's jump in here. Don't even have a joke for you this time, Funky Kong. We're gonna go down to the Chimp Caverns here. And start on tanked up trouble. I guess maybe that's why the plane was flying so funky. Oh, but the, that joke turned out terribly because I've accidentally mentioned the name of the Kong by accident. Gosh darn it. Anyway, this level is similar to maybe, uh, what was we had, like, Trick Track Trek, whatever. But this one is a little different because we need to collect fuel. And basically, it seems like this would be more strategic than it is. All we have to do is pretty much collect every barrel of fuel that we see. There's a few that we can miss. Uh, but we can't be too lazy about it. We pretty much got to get all of the barrels that we see. And as long as we do that, the level's not so bad at all. Like these bananas. But these are some really, really difficult levels uh, overall in the whole scheme of things. These are... This is the last full world before the final boss. Let's put it that way. On the next level, we basically just fight King K. Rule right away. So, this is our the last levels that essentially the game throws at you. And they throw at... They throw some pretty, like, shitty gimmicks at you. I mean, shitty not in the sense that they're bad gameplay-wise, although sometimes they actually are. Not so hot. Uh, but shitty in the sense that it makes things really, really difficult. So this fuel thing is one of them. And you'll see, as we get further and further along, that fuel gauge, which is indicated down there by the colored lights, is gonna get pretty damn low, and we're gonna be pretty much riding by the skin of our teeth when we come towards the end of this level, which we're not actually that, that far away from right now. And it's extremely important that you do well in these early levels. Because Candy Kong is really, really far along here. She is uh, just before the last level that you have. So we're going to make sure we get this barrel here. And absolutely not lose any needless lives. Let's put it that way. We've got all of our fuel. Everything's coming up Millhouse so far. But things can change quickly. You can see there's the end. So we're getting near the end of the level. This part's a little bit tricky. you got to make sure you time that appropriately so the barrel's going to shoot you in. Uh, at a point where the conveyor belt is actually going to be near you. We were down to one block of fuel there, and these fuel barrels only refill one block of fuel. So, you got to be quick on those. And you got to make sure that you're watching your gauge, because, uh, you know, you could have collected all the barrels and still be a little bit lazy, a little bit slow in picking up a barrel, and there you go. That's your, your run ended, essentially. But I think for now, I may have actually completed this without incident. I missed the G. But I think I missed the N as well, so that's not really that important. And there's the exit. That was pretty much the most flawless run of Tanked Up Trouble that I could possibly imagine for myself. Now we move on to Manic Mincers. Ooh, another level that is pretty tough. I guess those tires with the spikes on them are the Manic Mincers. I'm just going to play it cool. I'm going to play it as cautiously as I need to, because I do only have five lives right now. Here's Rambi the Rhino. I will probably lose Rambi in a matter of seconds. <laughs> oh, that was not how I expected it to go down, but that is indeed one way that can happen. Uh, that was I, sometimes the jump, I guess, just doesn't want to cooperate. I thought I pressed. I swear I pressed the button. There must be something wrong with this controller. Fucking game's broken. Okay, so we got Rambi the Rhino. Let's try to make sure we actually do this properly this time. Hey, I actually made it through one jump with Rambi, and we're gonna. Come up here. Oh, there we go. Yep, almost always lose it right off the bat. Wait for this gopher to come down. Come through here. What do these gophers... Ah, stealth... Stealth Mincer. What do these gophers ever do to us, man? Like, I understand the Kremlins. They're, like, stealing our bananas or something. But these gophers? Nature's candy here. Nature's teddy bear. Oh! I can't believe I got out of that Kong intact. I thought I was going to get completely fucked. In. Thank God I didn't. Because it allowed us to get to that halfway point. Now we've got DK back. The, the big DK, of course. Things get a little trickier here. And that's okay. There's a secret that I just missed by accident down there. Oh. I don't want this banana because every time I try to go for it, I get killed. And I almost always fuck up that jump, too, believe it or not. Oh! God, that's not even fair! Didn't even give me a chance. You get hit once by that thing and you're fucked. Okay, let's play a little cooler this time. That guy's been killed. We can get the DK barrel. Let's shatter that right away. Always good to have that uh, that kind of cushion. Still can't get to the secret, apparently. 
Oh, might as well get those bananas now that I've been hit somehow. Now, play it cool. Lots of spots in here to get fucked up. And I don't mean with your favorite alcoholic beverage. There's a DK barrel. So we've got a little bit of a... Uh, like you said, a little bit of a guarantee now. A little bit of leeway. But there's still some difficult jumping puzzles here. There are some truly hellish levels coming up, actually, that you will see. We're getting pro! We're getting pretty close to the exit here. I've forgotten about pretty much all these obstacles. In fact, we are basically at the exit. Here's our chance we could get the G if we really wanted to, but I don't care. I'll just get hit here because it doesn't have any effect. Carry this TNT barrel down. I believe as long as we make this jump, we might have one more obstacle. No, we don't. Not even. Just toss that TNT barrel over the side. Everything's going okay so far. Here we've got Misty Mine. I don't remember too much about this one. With four lives, I feel relatively confident. But it's all about how quick you can get to that uh, that halfway point. If you can get to that on your first life, then you've given yourself a pretty good chance to beat the level. But if you get to that, like, way late, five or six lives in, or, God forbid, never, then it doesn't always turn out the way you'd want it to. That's going to that's gonna be our goal for this first life. Of course, beat the level, yes. But also, um, get to that thing as fast as we can. That thing that I mentioned. You guys know the, the thing that Jig I was talking about. There's a DK barrel. Exceptionally important. Blow up that snake with a bucket of TNT. Also, those are buckets now. They're no longer drums. Can you, someone please inform Miriam Webster of this linguistic change? Oh, didn't want to jump there. I mean, I pressed the button, so I did want to jump. Hey, there's the halfway point. But I, I didn't really want to jump. Like, cognitively, I didn't want to jump. Avoid the gophers down here. These mines truly are misty. Oh, I'll give them that. There's an ostrich token that we will not be picking up. I don't think I've shown off any of the bonus stages yet, which is a damn shame. But hey, you get what you pay for with this Northern Lion Let's Play, which is me just trying to beat the game. I'm no Superman. Just kind of a Donkey Kong Country scrub, really. That was super lame. Okay, I'm going to wait for these crocs to come out. Should be okay. Now, this is where I know we're getting to the end of the stage because the armadillos are a dick enemy. So they always throw them to you, like, right at the very end. Please make that jump. Thank you. Okay, we have a pillar of snakes here. Watch out for snakes. I think we might have an orangutan? No, we don't. Okay, everything's working out really well so far. There's Funky Kong. So you know what? One of my mottos, as always, better safe than sorry. We're going to get in this plane. We're going to get in the plane with this noted pothead. We're gonna fly down to Candy's save point here. Save here. On that second file. Then we're gonna go back to Funky Kong up here and fly back. Thank God I bought a round trip ticket. And the airport is so close, literally only seconds away. So, having gotten there now, we'll just get moved down there. Had to press right to move down. We'll go to Loopy Lights. This can be a tricky level. Now we got the crocodiles here. The crocodiles also jump, so we got to be careful. You can kind of trick them into jumping, which is important. They jump when you jump, which is a you know a, an AI trope as old as time itself, as old as time itself. But uh, we'll be okay here as long as we keep hitting those light switches. Oh shit! You can see the light switches, which is important. Like you can see the barrels in the dark, and you can also see the eyes of the crocodiles in the dark. You can't see, like, the edges of platforms and things like that, so a lot of this level is going to be spent in the dark. Hopefully this part right here isn't too dark for you guys to see, though. Maybe I'll take a look, see if I need to do, do anything in post-production to make this brightened up a little bit. I'm just kidding, I can't do anything in post-production! Just deal with it, it'll be over in a second. Whoa, I mean, it, it's dark, too dark for me to see things as well. Hey, there's the halfway point. This level is actually a pain in the ass because, uh, there's one of those fucking orangutans. But, you can't see where his barrels are, so you just kind of have to, like, listen for him to throwing them, and then time it appropriately, which is a lot harder than it probably sounds. There's a fucking vulture there, but I got lucky and got the light on. Oh, I think I was holding onto a barrel as well, which probably helped my cause. Okay, so we're very nearly done the level here. I believe, anyway. Oh, I completely missed a light switch, so I'm just bouncing on tires that I can barely see here. Yeah, we are near the end of the level. Okay, so I'm gonna 
make sure we do this. Do this upright. Another light switch. Let's hit that. Basically just rush through these bees. Definitely don't need that G. Leap of faith. Okay, here's the orangutan. Watch out for those barrels. I made it! I'm a little bit impressed with myself, to be honest with you. Hey, there's an extra bunch of bananas. And I think there's a, another leaper here at the end. Goddamn leapers in every single game. This has gone exceptionally well, I can't deny that. Let's go down to Candy's save point here. And save on that second save, save file. And we'll go to Platform Perils, a level that is actually an extraordinary pain in the ass. So this is actually similar to like that Trick Track Trek, or um, Tanked Up Action, which is a ridiculous name for a video game level, but anyway. Uh, in that we're going to be riding on these platforms. These platforms are temporary. Oh, I should be Donkey Kong right now. Let's switch out. These platforms are temporary and they indicate the direction that they're going to travel. So an arrow to the right means it's going to the right. Oh, I'm going to definitely take damage then. An arrow into the screen means it's going down. An arrow out of the screen means it's going... You know what? You can watch. You can understand. I'm a little bit busy right now trying to process all the inputs going into my brain right now. This is as intense as Donkey Kong Country gets, really. Which isn't saying much, I suppose. The game's been kind of a... I wouldn't say a cakewalk, because there has been some off-camera practice that you guys have not been privy to. But... Uh, it, it, it hasn't been as difficult as I remember it being when I was a, just a youngin'. Here's our halfway point. Killed the bee there. Now here's where things get a little bit crazy. If you're playing the, you're through the game, like this is your sight read of Donkey Kong Country, you're probably gonna fuck up endlessly here. Because, well, I know I did. I'm just gonna keep jumping on the gophers. This part is actually pretty straightforward, but in a second, things are gonna get a little trickier. This one, jump on this one to take us to the right. I think we have an actual platform. Ah! Oh, oh, yeah, that's... That happens to me now and then. Now I remember why I lost like 15 lives at, that, at this level uh, during my practice run. DK barrel over the side. Fuck you! I always wondered like who's inside the barrel or what's inside the barrel if you already have both Kongs. You think it's just like it's like Dixie Kong waiting in there? She's just like, oh come on guys, stop throwing me over the side of the cliff. I have a serious head trauma. We gotta get over that guy. We can't just jump into him because he just bumps Diddy off like he's nothing. On these guys. And now things are going to start to get tricky. They introduce this barrel and these jerk offs right here. And we need to throw the barrel into those guys or they're going to bump both Donkey and Diddy off. So we're going to pick up this barrel, toss it at this guy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to focus for a second. There's a very specific pattern that you have to do this stuff in. And I almost forgot it right there. One more barrel, I think. I think that's it. Oh, looks like we got one more barrel. What for? For those guys? Oh, well, that wasn't necessary. Wow, pretty much powered through that set. Well, we got the boss, but let's also see what Cranky's up to. Cranky, what you got going for me? And jungle high, jungle high, Jinx. That was like 45 minutes ago, man. That was like the first video. Go down and fight Neki's Revenge. Actually, kind of a difficult boss. Definitely the most difficult boss we've fought so far. This follows the typical like one, two, three, four, five pattern. Shoots one bullet the first time, two bullets after you hit it for the first time, and so on and so forth until eventually she'll fire five bullets. We hit it for the fifth time and it'll die. So we'll jump over these. Is that the fourth one? Okay, that's our fourth hit then. Three, four. Five. This might do it. Excellent. Well, this has been an unbelievably satisfying run through the chimp caves or chimp caverns. Cavern of the chimp, whatever you want to call it. Um, probably the most fantastic play on my own part so far in this Let's Play. I'm proud of myself. Let me toot my own horn for a little bit. So we will be back in the next video with Gangplank Galleon, which is actually going to be the final part of this Let's Play. Most likely, on, you know foreseeably anyway. Let's go over here and save with Candy Kong because I definitely want to make sure all of my stuff is in order this way. Well, I'm 26 minutes ahead of my practice run, so that's, that's not so bad. And then we will just leave. So, 
Thank you guys for watching. This will be part six of Let's Play Donkey Kong and the penultimate part, as it turns out. I will see you guys next time with another video. Thanks for watching.